Hey, what's up, guys? I just wanted to show you this uh, digital microscope from Coolatron. Uh, it comes with where you can mount it with a suction cup, and you can mount it wherever you want, and then this, you can angle it down, up, turn it to wherever you want it to go. But I just, I like using this other stand that it came with. And this is the unit itself. I'll turn it on in a second. Uh, it's really simple to use. All these buttons are basically just your menu button and then how to navigate through the menu just to set the language and time and stuff like that. Um, around on the side here, this is where you plug in your USB cable. Your SD card goes right there. You don't have to use one, but you could record whatever goes on the screen. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> if, if you want to, uh, to save it to your computer. But if you're just viewing, you don't have to use a card. And then these knobs here, one on each side, you just turn these and it raises and lowers it. And let me turn this on. Has a nice bright light. And what I'm looking at is a quarter. And, uh, those are initials that they're tiny. You could hardly see them. And what it is, it's the engraver's initials. And uh, I just think it's really cool how detailed that is. And I'll show you how small it is on the actual quarter. It shows up as like a pin dot. But this dial on the front right here, this is how it would change the magnification. So, you know, it blurs out. So you just turn that until you get it nice and sharp to where you want it. But yeah, you could... Uh, there's no lock to hold slides or anything, but there's a nice light, so it's perfect for PCB boards, electronics, coins, anything like that. I wouldn't really use it for uh, biology or, or observing uh, bacteria, but for hobbyists, it's really good. So, yeah, so that's it on the quarter. And then I'll just show it to you because there's no way you could see it with the naked eye. It's just a tiny, yeah, there's no, I can't even show you about where it is because it just, it doesn't even show up on the quarter. Right at the bottom, it's like a speck, but it's hard to see. But when you look at it on the screen, these were the initials. There's initials here, and then there's initials right here. They're the ones that we were looking at that's hidden in the, the flowers. But yeah, it showed, it showed up great. The detail is really good. And then, like I said, you just use the knobs. And you go up. Try and twist it the other way to go down. And that's it. And then as you go up or down, just use the knob in the front to magnify whatever you're looking at. So this is the 1080p screen here. And this is the plug that it came with. Um... This is the USB cable. Just plug it in here to charge it up. It takes about four hours, and then you can use it wirelessly for a couple hours. Now, if you did use the SD card, plug the USB into your computer, and this goes right in the back of the camera, and then uh, everything that you recorded would come up on your screen. So whether you, you took pictures or video, you could review everything on your screen. There's no live viewing at the same time, so you can't have dual screens going. The only time you could transfer it to your computer is if you save it to an SD card. Otherwise, you'll be using this screen. But, uh, yeah, it's really cool. I just wanted to kind of show you how that worked, give you a little, uh, little preview. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.